I'm Dr. Isam Musa. I'm chair of the Division of Cardiovascular Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Florida, and previous chair of the Publication Committee of the Society of Cornea Angiography and Interventions. So uh, you may hear that after having angioplasty or surgery that 20% or 30% of patients may have heart attacks. Now that information is based on the universal definition. And that is clearly an overestimate because the majority of these patients, they have minimal increase in this protein biomarker that's not related to long-term outcome. The reason it overestimates the incidence because it uses a threshold of a, a protein biomarker that's not high enough to identify patients who truly have a heart attack that impact their prognosis and their life. So when we define a heart attack based on only very few cells getting damaged and use that term, that have implications in both how physicians would address that uh, complication, whether as a patient you're given a diagnosis of heart attacks, and then obviously it has implications for research issues. So the purpose of this document is to say that we're not going to use the term heart attack for any minute injury to the heart muscle during revascularization. We're going to use it only for uh, situations where the damage is large enough to actually affect patients' lives and odds of uh, uh, living well in the long run.